everybody, Peyton here, and today we're going to be going over Swift yet again. This time it's going to be a little more of a tutorial based video, just really want to help everybody out. We're going to go and start off with a tutorial here where we're going to be downloading Swift, moving around the folders a little bit, and just showing you the general install process. So first we're going to go ahead and head over to the website, get swift.gg, install the file, then I'm going to move it over here to my desktop, rename it, create a new folder. I heavily recommend doing this since it creates shortcuts to other things and it'll fill up uh, wherever you run it at. are once you're here you want to go ahead and accept all of this this is general false positive stuff if you want more info go ahead and join the swift discord server there's quite a bit in there <laughs> here it'll go ahead and download the latest updates which is the module the injector all of that stuff just to make sure you're working for the latest version there you go you'll get a little notification when that's done and here we're just going to go ahead and do the key system uh i speed through most of it really uh <laughs> So the, this is just like a really bare bones tutorial. The only thing I heavily recommend making sure is that you do not have a VPN on and that you have no ad blockers on your computer or browser. go already up on the last checkpoint we're going to go and copy the key move back over to the ui paste it in and then sometimes you'll get a little bug saying it was invalid but just go ahead and press submit again or relaunch the ui and try again and here we are we're officially in the user interface now we're going to go and load into a game and there we go okay so now we're going to go and pull up the ui and we're just going to run a couple little test scripts after we inject a fun little blah, blah, ball script I like to play around with. We're gonna go ahead and print a couple times. I'm gonna go ahead and paste in the UNC test, and there we go, 99%. This would be 100, but get script closure is impossible on the latest Roblox version. So we're gonna go and run infinite yield, R spy, dex, all of that. Go. We can run remote spy, no problems, and then we'll also go ahead and show the decompiler here. It's amazing. And now we're going to go ahead and head over to SUNC. SUNC is just a test that confirms the uh, realness, I guess, of UNC functions, but it also brings a couple new ones to the table. And there we go, 98%. The only one we fail is replicate signal. That's a slightly newer function in terms of it being standardized, so we're going to go ahead and head over to Blocks through Toho Hub just to go ahead and run a couple normal scripts. Running that. And there we go. Just turned on all our auto farm stuff. As you can see, everything on Hoho is working, no problems whatsoever. So now we're going to go and head over to juju.lol, which is a paid hood script. Uh, this has normally been my go-to script for the hood since it's actually been up with our recent anti-cheat improvements. As you can see, everything here is working great. And there we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and go over a couple little basic bug fixes here. But really most of this can all be found on our actual Discord. And if it doesn't help you out there, then you can go ahead and talk to our support team. Thanks everybody for watching this video. Bye-bye.